after learning delegation of authority our next topic is centralization and decentralization and first of all we will discuss about centralization it refers to concentration of power or authority in few hands that is top level and an organization is centralized when the decision making authority is in the hands of top level management only so centralization and decentralization are related terms as an organization uses both the policies whereas meaning of decentralization is it refers to the systematic delegation of authority at all the levels of management and in all departments of organization to take decision so there are various features of decentralization decentralization is much more than a more mere transfer of authority to lower level and it implies selective dispersal of authority and it shows the belief that people are competent capable and resourceful decentralization indicates that employees at middle and lower level can assume the responsibility for effective implementation of their decisions as you know there are three levels of managers top level middle level and lower level so when top level managers may think that a uh, middle level and lower level managers can also assume the responsibility so in that particular condition is known as decentralization decentralization recognizes the need of authority for decision makers the top management carefully select those decisions which will be pushed down to lower level and those that will be retained at higher level so basically there will be few key decisions of the organization and those key decisions will be kept by the uh, top level managers for them and all routine decisions can be pass on to middle level and lower level now our next topic is relation between delegation and decentralization so decentralization is extension of delegation in delegation we multiply the authority with two whereas in decentralization the authority is multiplied by many because systematic delegation taking place at every level will result in evenly distribution of authority and responsibility at every level and result in decentralization second point is delegation is necessary in every organization but decentralization is optional now after learning meaning of centralization and decentralization our next topic is importance of decentralization see decentralization develop initiative among subordinates and next is it develop managerial talent for future and quick decision making and relief to top level management and it facilitates growth and finally better control so first of all we will discuss our first point that is it develop initiative among subordinate so passing of authority at middle and lower level shows the trust and faith of top level in their subordinate and this trust and faith motivate the employees working at different levels as they are allowed to take decisions without seeking the approval of superiors it develop managerial talent for future in the decentralization managers working at lower and middle level also learn the art of making decisions they get the experience of performing activities of top executives and learn to manage the authority giving to them quick decision making in the decentralization process decision making is not restricted in few hands only but decision making power is entrusted to all the managers who are taking actions or performing the activities relief to top level management in the process of decentralization top level managers are not overburdened with the responsibility and authority as they systematically pass the authority and responsibility at different levels and they become free to concentrate on core and important issues facilitate growth decentralization grants more autonomy or freedom at lower level 
this helps the subordinate to do the work in the manner best suited for their departments better control in decentralization employees working at different levels take their own decision and they are personally accountable for their decision so they cannot pass the balance the blame to the superior 